Abandonment to Divine Providence By Father Jean-Pierre de Cassade, S.J. Book 2, On the State of Abandonment Chapter 4. Concerning the Assistance Rendered by the Fatherly Providence of God, to those souls who have abandoned themselves to Him. Section 12, The Triumph of Humility. The Last Chapter of the Book. To the souls which are faithful to Him, God promises a glorious victory over the powers of the world and of hell. If the divine action is hidden here below under the appearance of weakness, it is in order to increase the merit of souls which are faithful to it, but its triumph is nonetheless certain. The history of the world from the beginning is but the history of the struggle between the powers of the world, and of hell, against the souls which are humbly devoted to the divine action. In this struggle, all the advantage seems to be on the side of pride, yet the victory always remains with humility. The image of the world is always presented to our eyes as a statue of gold, brass, iron, and clay. This mystery of iniquity, shown in a dream to Nebuchadnezzar, is nothing but a confused medley of all the actions, interior and exterior, of the children of darkness. This is also typified by the beast coming out of the pit to make war, from the beginning of time, against the interior and spiritual life of man. All that takes place in our days in the consequence of this war. Monster follows monster out of the pit, which swallows, and vomits them forth again amidst incessant clouds of smoke. The combat between Saint Michael and Lucifer, that began in heaven, still continues. The heart of this once magnificent angel, has become, through envy, an inexhaustible abyss of every kind of evil. He made angel revolt against angel in heaven, and from the creation of the world, his whole energy is exerted to make more criminals among men, to fill the ranks of those who have been swallowed up in the pit. Lucifer is the chief of those who refuse obedience to the Almighty. This mystery of iniquity is the very inversion of the order of God, it is the order, or rather, the disorder of the devil. This disorder is a mystery because, under a false appearance of good, it hides irremediable and infinite evil. Every wicked man, who, from the time of Cain, up to the present moment, has declared war against God, has outwardly been great and powerful, making a great stir in the world, and being worshipped by all. But this outward semblance is a mystery. In reality they are beasts which have ascended from the pit, one after another, to overthrow the order of God. But this order, which is another mystery, has always opposed to them really great and powerful men who have dealt these monsters a mortal wound. As fast as hell vomits them forth, heaven at the same time creates fresh heroes to combat them. Ancient history, sacred and profane, is but a record of this war. The order of God has ever remained victorious and those who have ranged themselves on the side of God, have shared his triumph, and are happy for all eternity. Injustice has never been able to protect deserters. It can reward them only by death, an eternal death. Those who practice iniquity imagine themselves invincible. O oh God! Who can resist you? If a single soul has the whole world and all hell against it, it need have no fear, if, by abandonment, it takes its stand on the side of God and His order. The monstrous spectacle of wickedness armed with so much power, the head of gold, the body of silver, brass, and iron, is nothing more than the image of clay, a small stone cast at it, will scatter it to the four winds of heaven. How wonderfully has the Holy Spirit illustrated the centuries of the world! So many startling revelations! So many renowned heroes following each other like so many brilliant stars! So many wonderful events! All this is like the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, forgotten on awaking, however terrible the impression it made at the time. All these monsters only come into the world to exercise the courage of the children of God, and if these are well trained, God gives them the pleasure of slaying the monsters, and sends fresh athletes into the arena. And this life is a spectacle to angels, causing continual joy in heaven, work for saints on earth, and confusion to the devils in hell. So all that is opposed to the order of God, renders it only the more to be adored. All workers of iniquity are slaves of justice, and the divine action builds the heavenly Jerusalem on the ruins of Babylon. The End Thanks for taking the journey with me. Be blessed. And may you also be a blessing to others.